Hi everyone. This is a demo of Amazon Transcribe Medical application. Well, it's a PHP Laravel application which was built on top of Amazon Transcribe Medical service. Uh, Transcribe Medical is a speech-to-text service um, which is provided and created by Amazon Web Services. And on the back end of this script, um, we are basically using um, the AWS Transcribe Medical um, service. So all the, all the processing of uh, speech-to-text is done actually by AWS. You can learn more about Amazon Transcribe Medical Service on AWS official website uh, with all the features, uh, what's the purpose, the cost associated with it. Uh, now the main purpose of uh, Transcribe Medical is basically, as I said, convert specifically a medical speech um, into text. So it's not just converting uh, um, any kind of um, text, uh, audio files to text, uh, but it was pre-built uh, with medical terms, uh, pre-trained actually with medical terms, um, and currently supports only uh, US English language. Um, no, I don't know if, they'll, if they have any plans to support additional languages, um, but that's the current limitation. So it's mainly for um, US English accent. Um, and it is a HIPAA compliant um, service, so um, in terms of the medical uh, data, uh, they are stored on the AWS side as encrypted. Um, and also this, this script as well encrypts uh, medical data when it stores on your S3 bucket, basically. Uh, so that, that's good. we're going to show a quick demo uh, of the, uh, this um, uh, script and uh, web application. And it was built just for the convenience sake so that uh, you don't need to log in into your AWS Management Console each time to transcribe and then pulling the results from there is not easy. Um, here you'll see a nice um, application which was built um, for uh, really simplified the usage of this service. Now this the demo is available live so you can do, uh, do the testing yourself and the link for the source code is available in the description as well. You can get it in Code Canyon. So when you click login, you'll immediately see default admin and user credentials. Um, so you can go ahead and just uh, use any of them. So now I'll go ahead and log in. Uh, if you want to see how it will work with just um, uh, for the regular users, you can try with the user credentials as well here. And as you log in as an admin, uh, you'll see, uh, first thing you'll see is an admin dashboard. Um, so you have some useful in the analytical information there in terms of how many people registered, estimated spending for Transcribe Medical and so forth. Now, since it's a quick demo, uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of features you have. So it's two ways to transcribe um, audio currently. One is with yeah, and as I said, the first option is you can upload directly files, audio files, and you can see it supports up to seven different, um, actually eight different audio file extensions. Uh, now there's a limit, soft limitation in terms of duration of the file and then the file size. Um, that limitations are set by Amazon. The maximum file size that you can upload is up to two gigabyte in size, and the maximum length is up to uh, four hours, um, or actually eight hours, sorry. Um, yeah, as I said, currently it supports only US English accent. Um, so if you want to try it, go ahead, upload your file, and you'll see uh, the results. Now, in the speech type, the, the results you want to generate, you have two options, either dictation mode or conversation mode. In conversation, you can identify up to, actually it's up to 10 people, um, but we just narrowed it down, down to seven, um, but still it's easy to add three more, it's not a problem. Um, also, you can create, um, you can group it by a patient or case name, so you can easily find the result. Now, the second option is to record actually the um, whatever you want to transcribe, and then um, it will actually show you the the transcri transcribe result, transcript result. Um, the both both the processing is done by a cron task on the back end. Um, so the audio files, the record and uploaded are pushed by the script uh, to your AWS account for processing. And when it's done, the cron job that cron cron jobs that will be running on your 
um, the hosting on your server uh, will pull the results and show it here on the in the script so you can see um, the some of the results here so a lot of people were testing it uh, since the demo is available publicly available so you can go ahead and uh, try it yourself and we'll as you can see some most of the tasks actually completed there were some which failed um, they see that people try to record uh, upload something maybe there's some file was corrupt or um, different language whatever so we're just gonna pick uh, one of them um, so let me actually hear this first okay I think I have an understanding about your current symptoms now. I mm -hmm. Perfect. So this is in English, about three minutes, um, yeah, almost four minutes in length. And let's see the results. So that's how you see the actual result based on the timing, etc. So this one was, this task was processed as a dictation. If it was processed as a conversation, then you would see here the actual sp speaker identification of each line. Uh, it will be marked as speaker one, speaker two, etc. depending how many people are um, in the conversation. Um, and here is the actual transcript of the um, audio file. So if we just play the beginning. Okay. I think I have an understanding about your current symptoms now. I'd like to move on to some questions about your past medical history, if that's okay. Yeah, okay. Firstly, have you had any major... So you get the idea. And if, if it was um, the conversation mode, then the woman's voice uh, would have been a separate line uh, with the speaker marked as two or whatever would be the proper order. Uh, you can download the result. You'll get a... TXT file with, in this case, since a dictation, uh, dic it's a dictation mode, you get as a one single uh, paragraph, um, depending on the audio length. And if it was a conversation mode, um, then you would see uh, each speaker line different uh, based based on the each um, each text belongs to this. Each speaker will be on a separate uh, line here. Uh, so that's quick demo of the actual processing part. And then you have here a lot, a lot of additional components in terms of the, uh, so if you want to find your actual patient, then you would go and pick it here. So I see that people were testing it. Um, so you can put any of them, it will change automatically. Um, so as you can see, someone created a group which says just numbers or whatever. Um, you get the idea there. Um, so yeah, you can edit your own profile, change your password, um, standard process, process processes for web applications. Uh, you can create a support request. So this is mainly for users. Uh, so this panel is doctor's panel. They can create a support request that will go to admin um, and then admin can respond in terms of whatever the request might be. Maybe they need more minutes um, and so forth. Uh, on the admin part, so apart from the main dashboard, which you already saw, uh, you have also additional dashboard for setting up the configuration part, uh, which is very important. And that's where you set the um, maximum size of the uploaded audio files, which um, audio extensions you actually allow, and then the length of the audio files. Uh, as I said, the limitation is up to 240 minutes, um, which is, oh, by the way, I was right. It's four hours, not, not eight hours. Um, and that's it. So there's some additional settings that you can set. Uh, you can also see as an admin all the transcribed results, um, but that's up to you. And then you can manage your users in terms of who is subscribed, or who is um, registered, etc. Uh, general notifications um, or general settings, um, these are pretty straightforward. So you can customize the script um, as you want. Um, obviously, if you want to change the logo, it's all here. If you want to create some block, if you want to add, create additional frequently asked question, uh, no problem. You can create all of that, all of this here. And if you want to make this publicly available um, without email, email verification, oh yeah, you can also allow people to log in with their social media accounts. Now in the registration part, 
that's where you can enable enable email verification or not. So if uh, one, if you want to make sure that people are registering with uh, legit email addresses, um, then yes, it makes sense um, to en enable this feature so that when people registers, um, they will receive a, a confirmation code that they need to click uh, in order to make sure that they, their accounts are activated in the script. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so as I said, it will be a short demo of the um, Amazon Transcribe medical uh, web application, which is built uh, on Laravel framework, PHP Laravel framework. All the source code is available in Code Canyon. And if you'll have any questions, concerns, um, pre-sale questions, whatever, uh, you can reach out to us in the comment, se comment section below or in uh, drop us a um, message in the uh, Code Canyon. Um, that's it for the Transcribe Medical. And also, if you'll have any questions in terms of the service itself, um, definitely visit the AWS official page of the Transcribe Medical. And I will leave the links uh, for this service on the description below. Thank you.